a very gentle heart opening pose. We will start from here. So just take a moment here to draw yourself inward. To bring yourself into this present moment. Come back to just observe your body, observe your mind, observe your breath. Slowly feel that breath as you inhale, your chest rise, your hips sink as you exhale. Each inhale, as if you can bring it a little bit longer, lengthening the body. As you exhale, see if you can relax a little bit of your body, any area, maybe your toes, your fingers. As you inhale, you feel that freshness, the opening of your body. As you exhale, you feel that more relaxed, more grounded. Just take this moment here to observe your breath. Observe how your body feels like today. Is there anything that you can just let it go for now? Lengthening your breath. Longer your exhale as you bring yourself to a deeper calmness. To come back to your inner self. Today we are more focusing on our heart opening to more accepting ourselves, accepting this present moment and accepting who we are. And gently maybe bring your palm to your heart center. You can set the intention for your practice today. And gently when you're ready, if you have any pop underneath you, gently remove that. We'll extend our feet and our hand. Inhale, reaching our hand overhead. Just give yourself a very good stretch. Deep breath in. And a sigh out, exhale. <sighs> Deep inhale one more time. And exhale, let yourself sink. And slowly let's play, lift our left leg to the left side. And bring our right foot over to your left leg. And then reaching your left hand to, towards your left corner and right hand over to the left. Side. So the inhale, come back to the center. Just pause in the center for one breath. Deep breath in, feel the chest rising. And exhale, let your hips sink. And then when you're ready. Let's lift our right foot all the way to the right corner of your mat. And left leg cross over to your right. Bring your right hand reaching to the right corner of your mat. And create banana shape with your body. Deep inhale, feel that opening of your left side rib cage. Hold with side body. Next house, you can keep that left shoulder onto the mat. Deep breath in, 
opening. And exhale, draw your left hip towards your neck. Inhale all the way, feel that lengthening of your full body, especially your left hip cage, hip bone. And exhale, keep that left side grounded. And then slowly we come back to the center. Let's draw your knees. Do back to your chest, tap yourself into a little bowl, squeeze that knees towards your chest. And maybe bring your forehead towards your knees, stretching the back of your neck. Deep breath in. And one more breath. And then slowly we roll back to your mat. And anyway, in your way, just roll yourself onto your belly. So from our belly, we're going to extend our hands to work to the side of our, our shoulder, a bit open wider onto our mat. We're doing good to do a start small back bend. So as we inhale, just lift a little bit your chest forward. And exhale, we come back onto your mat. Breath in. Just a little bit, be gentle to start with. And exhale down. One more time like this. Inhale. And then exhale, back down. Let's rest our hand by our side for one breath. Breath in. And now, and then slowly we bring our hand a little bit closer to our, to our side. Come to like a stand pose. Our elbow in underneath our shoulder. And then raise our chest forward as we inhale. Opening the chest forward. And exhale, if you're pressing down to your lower back. And stay here for three breaths. Just feel that beautiful opening of your front body. And feel your breath. Deep breath in. And out. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Turn your Face onto your left side so that you can rest your right cheek on the mat. Deep breath in. And then slowly we come back to the center. This time you can move your forearm a little bit forward, gently, a little bit forward, and then you can press it up your upper body. But be gentle with your lower back. And see how your body feels like. You can always come back to your spin pose as you lift up your chest. Or place your hand just a little bit forward. Lift up your forearm. Deep breath in. And now. And keep engage your lower back. Let's take one more breath. And slowly lower yourself all the way onto your mat and turn your head to it to your right. Just to reset our spine. And then slowly we come back to the center. We're still on our belly. This time let's lift up your right hand a little bit forward. But keep your left hand on the side. As you inhale, you're pressing down to your right hand and left hand. A little bit of twist, so you can look, maybe look towards your left shoulder. Opening your left side. 
a little bit of twisting deep breath in and slowly we come back to the center and let's walk side so left hand reaching a little bit forward towards your mat and right hand by your underneath your shoulder and on the inhale you're pressing down to both hands and come to a little bit of twist Maybe you look toward past your right left shoulder, the right shoulder. Deep inhale. And slowly we come back to the center, rest your forehead on the mat. One last time. Deep breath in. You know. Slowly pressing down onto our hand and tuck our toes, push ourselves up to your tabletop position. Adjust your position to have your hand, shoulder width distance, knee, hip width distance, pressing down onto your fingers. As you inhale, we come to our cow pose, gaze forward, but emphasize on opening your chest towards your front. Roll your shoulder blade back, drop your belly. Let's stay for one that deep breath here. One more deep inhale here. And then exhale, arch your back. Look towards your belly button, push the floor away. And feel the opening of your back shoulder. Your lower your back, feel your spine. Let's stay for one breath. Relax your head, just let it drop. And on inhale, we come to our cow pose and we continue flow to our cat pose. Inhale, shine your chest forward. And exhale, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, up. And then exhale, curl. Let's do this two more times. Follow your breath. And then slowly come back to your neutral spine. Let's push your hips towards your heels and come to your child pose. From here, let's bend your elbow slightly. So we are aiming to pushing, to sitting your hip towards your heels and rest your chest. And then on next inhale, gently pressing down onto your hand and come back to your offer. And this time, we're going to walk your hands a bit forward and then gently rest your forearm onto your mat, come to this puppy position. And rest your forehead onto your mat if you're accessible, otherwise you can rest your forehead on the cushion. Keep reaching down onto your chest, opening that chest towards to the ground. Deep breath in. And then slowly pressing down onto your hand, come back to your all four and push back to your child's pose. But this time, let's bring your hand by your side. Relax your shoulder. Come back to this pose for your home base pose. Deep breath in. And now. And then when you're ready, we gently come back to our awful. And we're going to do a little bit of side stretch. So let's pressing down onto your right hand. Expand your right 
leg to the back. And, and then gently lift up your left foot, come behind your right foot. You can always rest your right leg onto your mat. But with the support of your right hand, pushing up to your right leg, side, ankle, side plane. And then reaching your left hand over and maybe open your chest towards your ceiling. Deep breath in. And then slowly lower your hip onto your mat. Come back to your oppo. You try on the other side. So you can come onto your, extend your left foot and left hand. And then you can bring your right leg over to the back of your left leg, side plank. And then reaching your right hand over, maybe open your chest, use your right foot to support you. Deep breath in. And then gently lower yourself onto your mat, come back to your or for position. Let's reset our pose. Do a bit of shoulder stretch here. Inhale, reaching your right hand towards your ceiling. And exhale, spread your right hand through that left hand window and rest your right face right cheek on the face. And use your left hand to see where you want the stretch to. The more you're pushing your to your left hand, lifting up your body. Deep breath in. Slowly pressing down onto your left hand. Inhale, right hand back to the ceiling. Right hand on the mat. Inhale, left hand to the ceiling. Stretch through the left hand to the right hand. Rest your left cheek on the mat. Use your right hand. Left hand to support yourself. Deep breath in. And then slowly pressing down onto your right hand. Inhale, come back to sitting. Exhale, left hand onto your mat. Let's do that one more time. So inhale, right hand reaching. Exhale, thread that right hand through that window of your left hand. From here, option to extend your left foot to the side and use your top hand to support yourself. Deep breath in. And slowly come back to the center. Inhale, right hand all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands on the mat. And the other side. Inhale, left hand up. Left hand come through to your right hand. Left cheek onto the mat. Use your top hand to support yourself. Maybe extend your right foot, your top foot, top leg to the side. Keep right in. Slowly, we come back to the center, pressing onto your right hand, left hand to your ceiling. And we come back to your all four. Let's push back to your child's pose one last time. Before we come on to our downward facing dog. So deep breath in, and exhale, side out. And then from here, when you're ready, let's pressing down onto your hand, tuck your toes, and from lifting up your hip bone towards your ceiling. Keep pressing down onto your hands. Come to downward facing dog. Maybe patterning your feet left to right. Feel that juicy stretch from the back of your 
ขับมาสู่อย่าไป Just feel how your body feels like. Keep pushing your chest towards you, your thigh, or look towards the back of your room. Deep inhale, and exhale. And then gently we come to stillness in downward facing. Now you can bend both knees and slowly draw the heels to a to the mat. Keep pressing down to your thumbs and index fingers on the knuckles of your fingers. Stay for one more deep breath. Slowly look to rest your hand and walk yourself to the front of the mat. Bend your knees and fall over to your feet. Maybe grab opposite elbows, swing side to side. And gently release your grip, and bring your hands onto your shin bone or fingertips onto your mat. Inhale, long gaze from the crown of your head. Extend, lengthening your spine. Deep breath in. And now next, how we fall over again. And inhale, slowly roll yourself. And come back to standing, hands to touch. From here, see if you can reach in your fingertips to reach the ceiling a bit further, maybe a bit lower to reach the ceiling. A little bit of back bend, deep breath in, and then exhale, hands by your side. Let's bring your hand behind you. Interlace your finger behind you. Squeezing your shoulder blade towards your back, roll your shoulder back and down away from your ear. Your finger towards to the floor. Inhale, reaching your chest open. Feel the opening of your bum body. And exhale, slightly bend your knees and fall forward. Rest your tummy on your thigh. Rest your head all the way down. Let your head hang. And then maybe you can draw your hands towards your ceiling or towards the front. Deep breath in. Keep squeeze that shoulder blade towards your back. Even your falling forward, draw that shoulder away from your ear. And slowly release your hand onto your floor. On inhale, we come to halfway feet. Hands on your shin bone, flat back. And then exhale, we fall over. And inhale, gently roll all the way up. Hands to touch. Maybe a little back bend. And exhale, hands by your side. We're coming to our sun salutation. Inhale, reaching arms forward. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthening the spine. And exhale, we fall over. Hands plant on your mat. Let's bring your legs to the back. And let's drop on our knees on the first one. Pressing down onto your hand, hug your elbow in and gently lower yourself all the way onto your mat. Untuck your toes, hands underneath your shoulder as you inhale, baby cobra. Then exhale, come back onto your floor, tuck your toes, push back to your all four, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, and stay for exhale. 
Let's look towards your hand and walk to the front of your mat. That's how we go. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. And inhale, gently roll all the way up. Maybe a little back bend, look towards your ceiling. And exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, reaching high. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Hands on the mat. Bring your legs to the back. Option to drop on your knees or stay on high plane. Hop your elbow in and you engage your core. Gently lower yourself all the way. Untuck your toes. On inhale, cobra. And exhale, come back onto your mat. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Stay for one breath. Keep lengthening your body. Keep breathing. And then look towards your hand and walk to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands by your side one more time. Some salutation. Inhale, reaching. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Hands on your mat. Take your option on your knee or on your high plate. Come on to your cobra. And we will meet at downward facing dog. Deep inhale. And exhale. Let's look towards your hand. Come to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, shine, chest forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Maybe a little back bend. And exhale, hands to heart center. Just take a moment here. To observe how your body feels like. Keep your breath come a bit faster. Feel warmer in your body. More energy is flowing into your body. And then when you're ready, sweep hands over again. Inhale, maybe a little back bend and exhale, fall. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fall. Plant your hand and let's lift up your right leg to your back. For the first time, let's drop our right knee onto your mat and tuck your toes. And pressing down onto your right hand, left hand to to the ceiling. Opening the chest to your left side. Reaching your top hand to the ceiling, deep breath in. And then exhale, come back onto your mat. Squeezing on your inner side, on inhale, we come up to your low lunge. Relax your shoulder, shoulder down and back. Pressing down onto your feet, reaching your hand to your ceiling. One more inhale, reaching your finger to the next time, bend your elbow to the side, come to this cactus arm. Deep inhale. On next inhale, maybe come to a little back and open your hand to work to the back. Opening your chest forward, deep breath in. And gently hand back to work to your ceiling. Let's bring your hand behind you, interlace your finger behind you. Open your chest, squeeze that shoulder blade to the back. Deep inhale, open. And exhale, let's bring both forward. Maybe draw your hand towards the ceiling. Deep breath in. And then slowly come back up. 
reaching hands towards your ceiling. Exhale, hands onto your mat. Let's tuck your back toes. Lift up your left leg to the back. Push back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And now. And slowly let's bring your left leg between your hands and drop onto your right knees. One more time. From here, we're pressing down onto your hands. Let's extend your left leg. Come to a run and stretch. Maybe flex your toes. Maybe adjust your position so you can lengthening your spine and fall over a bit more towards your left leg. And keep your hips parallel to the front of your mat. Deep breath in. And then slowly bend your front knee. This time we're going to drop our hips towards your front. Little bit sink your hip a little bit forward. You know, keep opening and place your hand onto your knees and push your knees away so you can open your chest. Deep breath in. And then from here, we're going to rest our hand back onto your mat. So that's an option on this pose. You can kick your right, your right foot to work to your hips. If it's a bit strong on your knees, place a blanket underneath your knees so to protect your kneecaps. From here, you come back to that, your hand onto your left knee. So if that's enough, you can stay here. Or maybe use your left hand cross over to grab that right foot. Feel of opening your front body, little bit of twisting. Deep breath in. And then as gentle as you can, release that foot. Come back to onto your mat. And push back to your down facing dog. Maybe plateauing your feet left to right. Release that stretch and feel how the difference between your left side to your right side. And gently when you're ready, this time we're going to bring our right foot to, uh, to your head, between your hands, and drop onto your left knee. Untap your left toes, pressing down onto your left hand, right hand reaching to the ceiling. Deep breath in. And then gently bring your hands back onto your mat. Engage your core, increase, squeeze your thighs and come up to your low lunge. Draw your shoulder back and down. Between your fingertips to right your ceiling. Deep breath in. And slowly expand your elbow, come to cactus arm. Feel the opening of your chest, of your shoulder, front body. Deep breath in. On next inhale, maybe stay here or maybe come to a little bit back bend. Even open a bit more further. Deep breath in. And slowly we come back to the center. Interlace your hand behind you. The other way, maybe the other thumb at the front. Squeezing your shoulder blades to up to your back. Opening your chest. Deep breath in. And now exhale. You fall forward, right shoulder on top of your right knee. Let your head drop. Maybe bring your hand to it to the ceiling. Find 
your breath. And slowly release your hand, come back to the center. Come back to your low lunge. Exhale, hands on your mat, tap your back toes. Push your back to down, facing dog. Stay for one breath. On this inhale, wide leg again. You train your hands. Drop your left toe, knees on the mat. And this time, you're going to extend your right foot. Flex your toes. Point your toes towards your shin bone. Try to lifting up your chest, not sinking down. Lengthening your spine. Deep breath in. Slowly bend your front knees. Engage your core and come up. Place your hands on top of your right knee. Maybe sink your hip a little bit forward and feel that more opening of your thighs, more stretch on your thighs and your hip bone. At the same time, pushing onto your knees, opening your chest, deep breath in. And then from here, there's an option. You can stay here or you can kick your left foot towards your heel and to protect your knees, maybe bring a blanket underneath your left knee. If that's enough, you can stay here just by kicking the knee towards your hip. And if you want more, you can use your right hand, bring over to the back and grab onto your feet. Feel that more opening and stretching of your core muscles. Deep breath in. And then slowly release. Bring your hand back onto your mat. You push back to your down facing dog. And you're paddling your feet left to right. Release that stretch. And slowly let's drop your knees onto your mat. We come to our child's pose. Rest our forehead on the mat. Just take a moment to observe your breath. Take a deep breath into your belly. And exhale, let your head sink towards your heel. And then when you're ready, we come back to meet at down facing dog. One more small float before we come on to our in stretch. So from down facing dog, as you inhale, let's bring your left leg between your hands. Let's bend your back heel onto your mat and windmill your hand to warrior two. Reaching your hand to the side. Relax your shoulder. Your front knee 90 degrees towards your front, pressing down to the back edge of your feet. Both feet engage evenly weight onto your feet. Your crown of your head towards your ceiling. Deep breath in. And let's reverse our warrior inhale. Put your front palm, reaching your top hand towards your ceiling. And then exhale, side angle. We do this three times. Just feel that movement from your reverse warrior to your side angle. One more time like this. And 
inhale, we come back to the warrior two. And from here, let's bring your hands onto your hips and point your both toes to work to the edge of your, the corner of your mat. We're going to do a squat, a wide squat. So from here, let's bend your knees towards to your toes. So your, your, your knees is pointing to the same direction as your toes. From here, hands towards your heart center. On inhale, sweep your hands all the way towards your ceiling. And exhale, hands towards your center. See if you can stay here for three breaths. We sweep our hands three times towards your ceiling. And exhale, center. Inhale, use your energy. Keep you squeezing, keep squeezing your legs. One more time like this. And exhale, heart center. Pressing that onto your feet. And come to triangle to extend our legs to the side. Let's interlace your hand behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades. And then we gently fall forward. Deep breath in. And then slowly release your hands, the hands on your hips. Slowly roll yourself all the way up to standing. Come back to your warrior two pose. And then from here, we spin our torso towards to your fun to warrior one. Let's bring your hands onto your hip. Come to our balancing pose, pressing down onto your left leg and lift up your right foot to work to your thumb. Standing door pose. From here, see if you can bring your right leg to work to your back. And as you kick your feet to work to your hips, see if you can use your right hand to grab your right foot. Kick your right foot to work to your hands and then opening, come to a little half stand, dancer's pose. And if you find your balance, maybe you can extend your left hand to work to your front. Keep kicking your hand to work to your feet, your feet to work to your hand, pressing down to your standing leg, deep breath in. And then slowly we come back to your center. Release your legs as we sweep our hands towards your ceiling. Exhale, fold. Hands on your mat. Just walk your feet back to your downward facing dog. Deep inhale. And exhale, sing. And start on the other side. So as you inhale, right leg towards between your hands. Spin your back heel onto your mat. Windmill your head all the way to warrior two. Keep sinking your hip down. Opening your front knees towards your little toes. Keep pressing down onto your back heels. Feel that opening of your body and reaching your fingertips towards to the side. Extend your crown of your head towards your ceiling. Deep breath in. See if you can sing a little bit deeper on exhale. Let's come to our movement as a, um, as a peaceful warrior and side angle warrior. So inhale, flip your front on reverse warrior. And exhale, side angle warrior. Inhale. Just feel that movement of your body. One more time like this. And gently come back to your warrior two. Hands on your hips. Extend your legs and point your toes to the edge of your mat. One more time as we did our um, goddess pose. 
So as you're ready, let's sing our hip down. Opening your knees, pointing your knees towards the same direction as your toes. As you find that pose, keep squeezing and pressing down to your hand, your legs and hand to your heart center. Three deep breath here. As you inhale, sweep your hands all the way. And exhale to the heart center. Inhale, opening your front body. And exhale. Inhale one more time. And exhale, hand to heart center. One more breath here, Just keep squeezing. And then pressing that onto your feet. Lengthening your legs. Let's bring your hand onto your hips. In here, opening your chest. And exhale, fall forward. Option, you can just rest your hand on the side. Or you can use your hand to grab your big toes. Your fingers, grab your big toes. And then use that to draw yourself closer towards your mat. Keep breathing, keep relax your head, just let your head hang. Release your lower back. Deep breath in. And then slowly release your grip. Hands onto your hips and gently roll yourself all the way up. Come back to your warrior two pose. And turn your torso towards your front warrior one. Come to our back balancing pose. So pressing down onto your right foot. Hands onto your hips. And see if you can bring your left leg towards your front. As you find your balance, you gently bring your left foot towards your back. And if that's enough, you can stay here. Or maybe use your left hand to grab the back of your left foot. Kick your hand towards your, kick your feet towards your hand and your hand towards your feet. Engage your core. And maybe kick it a little bit further, but try to open your front body towards your front. And maybe extend your right hand. Keep squeezing everything together. Find your focusing from. Stay for one more breath. And then slowly come back to the center. Let's sweep hands, inhale. And exhale, fold. Plan your hands and walk your feet back. To downward facing dog one last time. And slowly drop on your knees. This time we have our knees closed together. Push our hip toward to our knees. Now our hip toward to our heels. And rest your forehead onto your mat. Bring your hands by your side. Come to your baby and child's pose. Deep inhale all the way to your body. Exhale, sing into this pose. From here, you have option maybe rock your head side to side to massage your forehead. We slow down our breath and we set ourselves to couple in pose. And then from here, when you're ready, we will lift up our torso. And we just come on to just like this. Sit onto our hips. Our hips. Sitting onto your knees, your heels. And then from here, let's bring your hands behind you. Finger pointing towards to the back. Gently. If that's enough, you can stay here. This is more squeezing your shoulder blade towards your back and opening your chest. But if you want a little bit more, 
You can press him down onto your hand and lift up your hips. A bit more opening of your front body. So pick your option. See how your body feels like. And slightly tap your, your chin. Your chin so you're protecting your neck. Deep breath in. Slowly lower your hip back onto your mat, onto your knees, your heels, and come back to your child's pose. Deep breath in. And then slowly we come back up to our kneeling, kneeling pose. And this time we're going to lift up our hips. We're going to do a calm up pose. So to start with the first option, to have your hand placing behind your back, fingers pointing down. Squeeze your shoulder, your elbow toward each other. And from here you're opening your chest towards your front. If that's enough, you can stay here. Or you can walk your hand down to onto your heel. But keep squeezing that shoulder blade towards your back. Slightly tap your shin. Opening your front body, deep breath in. And then slowly. Bring yourself back up gently and then sit your hip back onto your heel. Out pose. And then on this inhale, gently come back up to the center. Let's spin your leg to your front. We come back onto our back. Let's draw your knees to your chest. Maybe rock side to side to massage your spine. From here, we will slowly draw our knees to your left side. Both of your knees. You can use your left hand, place on top of your right knee, and extend your right hand toward to the right. Maybe turn your hand toward to your right side. Come to your twist pose. Deep breath in all the way to your abdominal. Exhale, sling into the twist. Okay. Breath in, create more space in your body. As you exhale, just let it go, let it sink. And then on next inhale, gently come back to the center. Tap your knees in, squeeze them. And then gently drop your knees towards your right. Use your right hand, place on top of your left knees. 
Maybe extend your left hand towards your left side. Maybe turn your head towards the left. Deep inhale all the way to your abdominal. Feel the opening of your front body as you twist. On exhale, just let something go. Feel a bit more release as you twist. Deep inhale, feel the fresh air bring into your body, nourishing yourself. As you exhale, give you a very good massage for your inner organ. And just take this time to observe how your body feels like. So you can find more space within yourself. Slowly we come back to the center. Give yourself one more good, very good hug. Maybe come to your happy baby pose before we come to the Zavasana. Grab out the blades of your feet. And draw your knees towards your armpits. Pressing that onto your lower back. For any movement that your body asks for. Anytime when you're ready, you're going to extend your feet to what you find. If it's a bit cold, you can have your blanket cover over yourself. Make yourself very comfortable. And rest your hand by your side. Just let your toes drop to the side. Rest your back. Rest your head. Come back to your breath. As you inhale, you still feel that chest rising, chest opening. Feel that lightness in your body. As you exhale, just let your body sink towards to the mat, towards to the earth. Feeling that secure up from the earth. Relax your jaw, relax your eyebrow, the space between your eyebrow. Feel the opening of your collarbone, your chest, your rib cage. Let your hips sink. back to observe your breath and connect your breath to your body.
and you're welcome to stay in this pose as long as your body feels right. And then when you're ready, you can bring a little movement to your toes, to your fingers, to your hands, to your feet. Maybe reaching your hands overhead, stretching your hands, your toes. We'll do three cleansing breaths here to finish our practice. So when you're ready, as you inhale, deep breath in all the way. Next, exhale, open your mouth and let it go. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more time like that. Deep breath in all the way. And exhale, let it all go. And then in your own time, rock to your favorite side. Use your hand to support yourself. We gently come back onto our comfortable seated pose. Bring our hand to our heart center, bow to ourselves. And showing your gratitude to yourself for spending this time and this space for yourself. And create more space for your inner self and knowing that you are enough and that's all you're accepting for yourself. And we're also showing our gratitude to each other to share our energy together. Come to offer up a clarity of thoughts, to our lip a kind and honest speech, to our heart for loving compassion. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it.